Here we are in Tinkercad, and I want you to sign in. And remember, you're not going to use your username, but you're going to go down here to where it says sign in using social providers. We're going to use Google and use your school account. And you should see anything that you've worked on. So um, we're going to go over to learn. And you've already done the starter projects and we're going to go over to projects. And you'll see the first four right here and then I'd like you to click on see all projects. Now there's a lot of really cool projects here, um, a whole lot that you can do, um, but I'm going to ask that we start with assemble a hamburger. It's not a very long um, it's not very long, but um, it helps you with moving objects, rotating objects, and scaling objects. So um, go ahead and click on the first one, and it's how to move objects. And I'm going to walk you through the very first one because there's, um, there's something different that happens at the end. So it says, anyway, how to move objects. Um, that's what we're going to learn. So we're going to click Next. And here are the instructions. And um, go ahead and read the instructions and then click on the image and it'll show you what you need to be doing. Okay, and it also tells you um, easy ways of doing um, the click and drag or maybe more efficient ways. So, um, and you can continue to look on the, on the images. And it says put them next to each other. Okay, and then it says find the burger patty and select it. So I can look, it's like, yep, that's the patty. I'm going to select it. Then it says instead of using the mouse, use the arrows and hold the shift key. It'll make it go faster. So it does make it go faster. And I don't know if I'm supposed to go all the way up yet. Yes, so I'm going to move it all the way into the patty. <laughs> And then the next one says, the number six says, move the object up um, on the Z axis, hold the control and use the up arrow. So I don't have to use this. I can use um, the control so that it looks like that. So I'm going to hold the control down and click up. Now it's kind of um, on top. And it says, now before moving on, let's position the camera closer so that we can see it a little bit and we're going to put it towards the front and see if that that actually is whoops I'll use my control and there you go and you can make sure that it's on there and it says make any adjustments that are needed so whoops let me look at that again to go on, okay all right um, then select and move the slice of cheddar cheese and put it on top of the patty so we're going to try that And we remember control to lift it up. Okay, you can you don't want you want to make sure that these things are stuck together. Okay, this looks great. Now, if I click um, done and I go to the next one, um, for some reason on my computer it might work on yours, but um, it won't have the rest of my hamburger there. So I'm going to select over all of them, and I'm going to hit Control C. To copy and I'm going to click done now and then it says continue now in the past there hasn't been anything so see there's nothing here even though it asks you to continue with the lesson your hamburger went away so if you hit control V because you copied it there it is and just um, move it on to the warp plane and you can continue on with the um, next steps Every time you go, the next time you click done, please do the copy and paste again because it won't follow you through the lesson. It's not a very hard lesson. You should be able to um, finish it in one class period easily. And um, then I'm going to encourage you to play around with Tinkercad. You can go back to the lessons if you wanted to or um, create something on your own, but keep working in Tinkercad so you get a feel for how to um, use different things. Um, check out all the shapes, uh, be creative, um, but you can use any of the tutorials um, to help you 
get an idea of what to do. But this is the one that you need to do and turn it in through um, Google Classroom. Um, you can take two screenshots. Remember, um, screenshot is control shift and then um, the Windows key. It's like where the F5 key would be on your keyboard. Um, and that should take a, a screenshot. If you need help, raise your hand and I will be happy to help you.